back in more World Cup. This time we have um, this Greece guy. Uh, I've recorded one of his games, and I don't know who his opponent is. But we'll rewatch the first of few turns. He brings a Mega Law Bunny Balance. Um, I assume it's going to be Scarf Landris, Specs, High Dragon. Rock Strand Spikes Pharaoh. And on his team, he has a Mega Metagross, Bulky Offense. With Hammer Arm, gets a nice damage on the Pharaoh Thorn. So it just gets up a spike. Um, the reason why I didn't leech it is probably because it could, the Amoongus could have came in, and I could see the Amoongus having HP Fire. So this is probably Bandit Tita. Bandit Tita. And he's just gonna go for Crunch. Yep. Nice prediction going hard lob bunny. Um you can go Amoongus here. Should be able to lift two turns. Even with sand and spike. If it has, has some defense investment, it's just a little bit. Doesn't need that much. But yeah, this guy's obviously on Team Grigor, we said that, and uh, I don't really want to open the schedule or the, the spreadsheet at the moment to figure out which team this guy's on, because my computer has been lagging a bit if I do that. The first Mega Lob. Is it the first Mega Lob in the entire World Cup? Ooh, nice Ice Punch play. I mean, it obviously hits the Among Us for like about the same damage that Return does, and it hits the Landris harder. Then return does. Another ice punch would kill this, so he's obviously going to switch into his Among Us or Keldeo. So, which one would be Scarfmon? The land is his helmet. I, I'm thinking he's a Scarf Kelly on this team for speed control. Since he has Banta already, I can see the Torn being AV, but also I can also see Life Up. I'm not 100% sure about this one. His team seems like a lit. Um, like he has okay Ladi switch in these two months, so he might, doesn't have to be AV. And he also has this as a Kelly switch in, so like if he didn't have a Kelly switch in, I would say this is AV, but I'm not sure because he has a Mongoose. It could be Life Orb on the Torn. So he did make the Kelt play. This is the most obvious Slowbro ever, so he's either gonna try to Sculpt Burn the Slowbro here. Or he is gonna. I think you just click the Sculpt button anyway, because if you stay then you kill the Lob Bunny. If he switches, you get the chance to burn. It's like Sculpt. It's like, what do you lose from clicking Sculpt? Especially in Auras. But he doubles out on the Tornadus. Um, interesting play. I assume he's gonna click knockoff or hurricane depending on if he's if he's AV he's just gonna click knockoff. If he's live up I can see hurricane. Because hurricane is gonna do a lot. Um I think last can afford to stay in once, but he has to be a bit careful because if this is really live orb and hurricane is gonna do like uh, 60, 65 maybe? It's just a head calc. Uh tornadoes. Uh, oh you live orb versus uh, slow bro. Yeah, we're gonna 61 to 72. Did I say 65? I oh, not bet my head color. Something like that is what I said, right? Oh, this guy, the guy's at 40 seconds. Don't time out, my man. I mean, I don't know him. I just set my man. Okay, he misses her again. So we'll never know if it's a life or classic. Scald always burns, 30% is 100%, and Hurricane always misses. And he has superpower in that damage um, confirms that it's life or. And he gets up the rocks, so the next superpower would kill the Heatran. Um, I could see him going for Hurricane here, predicting the pivot into... Into what? It's not like he has good switch in, so maybe he can just superpower again. Uh, I guess into the, the pivot into Scarf Lander is an option, which is why you could Hurricane here, but it's so risky. Yeah, it's so risky to Hurricane. I think he didn't lose too much from superpowering. So, because now his life up got poisoned, and every turn it uh, gets goes for an attack, it has to take life up recall plus the poison, which is super annoying. Mm -mm, the trend is still around. 
I think he's just willing to sack this turn. I don't think he's gonna switch out. Like, if I would see this live up turn, I'm like, bruh, this thing is strong. I'm not switching out. I'm just sacking this. And he risks the hurricane, but he hits it. Oh, thankfully. Otherwise, this would have been super bad for him. But, like, I mean, I get why he hurricaned again, because he was not, like, having his opponent get a free switch into something. But, I mean, hurricane is always one of those moves. Eh. When you click it, you like you wanna you don't wanna look at the screen because you, you already know it might miss. Fall over to the left. <laughs> I mean the same as with Megalopony's high jump kick. The move can also fall over to the left. Um, so this torn is still nice to keep, even though the poison sucks. So if his Amongst is really but and not able to switch into this Lop Bunny, he's probably gonna sack his Landris here. But yeah. Um, yeah, there's rocks and spikes up, and I assume it's going to be East with Death Among Us, just the way he has played this. Uh, let's just say Law Bunny, right? Where's this Among Us? Uh, let's say this with Death Spread, right? Uh, this has 184 defense, but it's calm. Return does 42 to 50. So let's say we have rocks and spikes on his side. Uh, guaranteed 2 hit KO after Stellar Fog and one layer of spikes and black slash if it's this specific Among Us spread. But I assume it's something along those lines, like some Spadef Among Us. Because he has like the Lander with Helmet as like the offensive the, the defensive switch in. For like physical attacks is what I'm trying to say. And this is so he needs kinda needs one for special hits. But he doubles out into a Dragon. Um I think he specs and he predicted the Among Us because he wasn't sure if he, um, Lopani could do it KO the Among Us. But yeah, if he's not Scarf, this didn't work out for him because he's kind of scared out by the Hammer Arm here. Because like if he's not Scarf, I'm um, pretty sure Metagross Okus does with a Hammer I mean, It's a Mega Metagross. This thing got banned in Sun and Moon. Like, see, it says Uber's attack because it doesn't exist in OU anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hammer Arm would kill, but I'm just going to cock it to make sure. Better be safe than a uh, sorry. Hammer does 96 to 113, so it has a really high chance to kill. But he switches out, and Lars was willing to sack his Pharaohs on there. I thought he might have gone Landorus breaking the hammer arm, but it's too risky and a potential Ice Punch, because Ice Punch also hits this for super effective. It probably wouldn't oak it, but it hits this for super effective, so why would you risk it? I get that. And why is the chat going so wild? Delete this game. I think they I think they don't understand the plays that are going on. This game gotta go, this didn't happen. Are they talking about Is this is not World Cup, right? Holy fuck, there's another World Cup game? Oh this is Adam. Oh this game is at turn five and it's already three months dead. Let me rewatch this. I have to. Adam and Lisa about talks the packs, I don't know who his opponent is. So I could, this could be tab Bandit Tapu Bulu and Oko's Toxapex. So I assume this is Spadef Toxapex and Bandit Bulu. Goodbye Toxapex turn 1. So this is why the chat went so wild for a second. Sludge Wave just sexed this off. Oh, he didn't really have a switch in. Hydro Pump, so kill for kill. Greninja getting his Ash Form off. Oh my lord. This is how Pokemon should be. Pokemon trading kills left and right. t just dies to the Hydro Pump. I mean, it's not like if he's not Scarf Lily, he didn't have anything to take a Hydro Bump, so he switches out, not wanting to risk a miss, I guess. Oh my lord, no wonder the chat was going so wild. Now I'm mad that I wasn't recording that. That's the problem when I'm like tired and I focus on the one game that I'm recording. I probably will not realize if that starts a second game at the same time. So I could see this Magina having Ice Beam, but he doesn't want to risk Earthquake. Why did he go hard Greninja? He just sacked this Greninja. That's, that's, I think that's where the chat went so wild. That was the term resect Greninja, my lord. Switching out, breathing HP, ice, guy strike, or whatever comes in. Yop, 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 it's gonna be 60. Oh, we crit. It would've done 60, but they crit at 90. My head cut. Once again, my head cut is on point. Bullet punch works because this is in the air. So that goes down. What the fuck is this game? My lord. Tapu Lily. Doubling out into Landris. Predicting the Magirna? I don't know. But he just goes for Earthquake, throws up the rocks. I assume this is gonna. Oh, that's Stone Edge. Oh boy, he already said GG. 
gets a crit and is this scarf katana scarf katana wins this game scarf katana clicks uh, smart strike twice and wins it has been fun tdk worked this game so katana won <laughs> oh katana actually won a world cup Whew. it's litty i mean it also won another the other day like two three days ago so it's HP Fire Landrus. Okay, it's at the ABR set. <laughs> so he switches out. Sexes Metagross didn't really have good switch into this. Pretty sure that's uh, specs, unless we see life up. Nope, not life up. Has to be specs then. Like that's what I was assuming off of Team Preview, anyways. What is this nickname? Holy fuck! And what was this game? This chat was too funny, this game didn't happen, it was going so well. I was like, why is the chat going so well? Because I was watching the Aura's game. Man, when you miss the good stuff live. I see Tia, you're playing Adam tonight, hello? It's already midnight here in Germany. I don't think he's gonna, yeah, he always said no. He wants next Sunday. Oh, he said he's already okay. Double into Keldy on the high regal, nice play. Um, so the silver could get put to bed. The thing is, like this guy, he's doubling around, but doesn't really accomplish anything because he's just gonna go back to slow, bro. And even if this has specs HP electric, um, which I said it's probably scarf. I was going off this being scarf because you kind of want some speed control, right? Yes, yeah, I was going off this being scarf because if this is scarf, it can't actually break the slow, bro. Like even if it has HP electric, it's gonna bounce off the slow, bro's body, so he's gonna have to double again. Break the slow, bro, on the teacher, you know. And he's gonna click Bandit Crunch or Pursuit, depending on what he thinks is the play here. But yeah, he had to like. I know that he kind of had to make some plays, but like, good lord, he took a lot of hazard damage in the process of switching around. Okay, Jam had rescheduled. That's in two hours? Yeah, I knew he would be playing in two hours. But Dexy's also playing. Jam thinks Brazilian Ascent will let me correct him. How many he playing him like a fiddle doesn't matter. So it's just gonna crunch you, I assume. We stone ash, wow, that a fuckload so yeah I'm going after this being scarf like I said earlier. You can just U-turn out here. Like this U-turn is so free. Unless um he can hard switch out if he doesn't want to take Rocky Helmet damage from the opposing landers. Um he can hard switch out into his slow bro I guess. But it's still kinda risky in case the Tita stays in. So yeah, just as U turn, I think it was worth it like even if you take the helmet damage. This guy's okay, he said it's fun to watch in Sun Moon. But it's Aura, so yeah. Oh he said I meant Aura, okay. So yeah, he can just click Ice Punch here because in case he tries to save the landers he would die to that. You can also double out because Lopani would die to Rocky Helmet at this point. You can also double out to like slow bro or something on the Lando. But that would give the Landers the rocks, so I think I would just Wow he really doubled out but into a dragon. Well that didn't work. <laughs> but he's still in his favor, like Laz in Laz's favor, however you pronounce this guy because he has all these hazards up. And he always has a free switch and too slow, bro. Like, yeah, eventually he's just gonna play it safe. And if you just go into slow, bro, over and over again, you're eventually gonna get the momentum here. And now you can kind of make an aggressive play. Uh, double into Landers here, but I, I don't think. I don't know if it's necessary, or if it gets you anything, like if it, does it even help you if you double into Landorus? I 
Just gotta check real quick for one second. Man, I gotta check if I cor upload the correct video because sometimes I, I pre record like five videos and then I don't remember which game with which video and then I name the title wrong. But yeah, he tried to catch him on double C. I said the double is maybe not the play. Um, yeah, now this HSA guy is gonna switch out, I assume. Either Tita or Among Us. But yeah, I just wanna check this real quick. Switch it out into Among Us. Yeah, okay, I got it correct. I just wanted to know if I got it correct. The true like and Reiko game. Like, not that I named my videos wrong. I have to check that, right? Because I have had that happen to me in the past. So, yeah, this slower wakes up. It goes for Skull and there's absolutely nothing. It doesn't get a burn. So, he could potentially go in High Dragon, but this is a free spore again, yeah. It is a free spore. Um, if he had Sleep Talk on his specs, High Dragon, I would have gone to High Dragon, but he probably doesn't have it. So I could see him doubling predicting the high dragon here. Oh if he has does he already reveal this in time moves? Yeah, he only reveals ball, so if he has stun spore I would go for that here maybe. Even though I was just about to say the slobo can stay in here and eat it up and have because it has regen and it can burn a sleep turn. So I understand Gigi draining first, but I would consider sporing this turn. I uh, stun sporing if he has it. You obviously can't spore another one. But um I assume it's gonna be Giga and HP fire clear smoke or maybe sludge bomb. So probably no stun spore. Just the way he has played this, he's never showed. Like there was the time to go for stun spore. See, he went into high dragon. Um, but I'll double into this also works because it outspeeds the high dragon and gets a free U-turn here. That was also a good play. I, this guy's not playing bad, definitely. Yeah, yeah, this is enjoyable. Like we would blunder. Whew. Um, yeah, I have my fan on in the background. If you, maybe you guys can hear it a little bit. But I remember when I, I recorded one earlier with T, and I think his fan was a bit louder to hear. Like, a bit. My fan should be, like, pretty low. Like, I don't think you can hear him it much. But yeah, like, I'm basically getting roasted in my room. Like, the sun shines into my room the entire day, and, like, I can only d open the window at specific times. And at night, I obviously have to. Like it's already dark, so I have the light on. So if I open the window, there's gonna come uh, mosquitoes and stuff, or however you call them. Nice insects are gonna come in and annoy me, so I don't, I won't, don't want that to happen. <laughs> so I need my nice fan. So yeah, he U-turned. There was, was there was a free U-turn. Uh, going land was a fine play. You obviously want to keep your head dragon around. Mm, yeah, this is tough for this guy because like Kelt is like o almost dead to hazards. I think it can only come in one more time. Twenty-two plus spikes. Maybe it can barely come in two more times, but I'm not sure. So what's the play here? I guess it's Among Us or you. It's either Among Us or your own landers. Probably Among Us, but that doesn't even gain you that much because that just gives him a free High Dragon if you don't have Stun Spore. And you can't even double versus High Dragon because this landers is going to U turn your Among Us. Yeah, this is a tough spot, but yeah, it does make the Among Us play. And if he has Stun Spore, this is really the time to reveal it, my man. But like I said, I don't think he has it. You turn into a Hydra like ex as expected, and yeah, he didn't have stuns for. Just goes for Gigi Drain, which is like the best move he could have done there, I guess. If his other move is like, I guess if he had Sludge Bomb, he could have gone for that. But if he has Clear Smog, that also wouldn't have done much. Sludge Bomb would have been nice to potentially get a poison, I guess. Wait, Rose as as did he want to play? Are they playing for World Cup?
Yeah, so he basically had to pick his father there to respect Draco. Decided to sack off the tornadoes. Mm, if pursuit might not even kill this if he switches. A dragon. Uh, where's this terminator? Uh, Choice bandit. Yeah, pursuit would pursuit would kill if he switches. But does he lose anything from clicking crunch? Yeah, I think he loses something from clicking crunch because this high dragon is still a threat. So he wants to pursue it. Because if he sacks something else instead, like the Lopani. I mean, the Lopani can be a threat late game too, but I think High Dragon is way more annoying. Every time it comes in on Among Us, it basically gets a kill. Um. P2 is playing tomorrow. Yeah, he pricked into pursuit and Dracos again. It does make the pursuit play as expected. This basically guarantees that the High Dragon is dead. But High Dragon does take the Tita with it, because Tita can switch out because it's in range of hazards, but he dodges a Draco, so the Tita is still alive now as a fodder to give him momentum. <laughs> sure if it matters. Yeah, it's always not the same scenario. Yeah, he's clicking U-turn here because he... And I think he's just... <laughs> I mean, he can take... go with on little give to some helm damage and then take his Tita after. He can just take his Tita now. I think he should just take his Tita now. There's also a black and white game for World Cup, but like I said, I'm gonna focus on uh, yeah he just doesn't pick up the teeter gonna focus on the auras and sun and moon games I also missed some of those um oh Azuma I have I've never seen Azuma on black white then this looks like auras like a little bit not not exactly but a little bit like some auras So what is he gonna go into? I assume he's gonna go slow bro here. Um, how healthy is the slow bro? Is it at full? Is that 80... 88? But yeah, seeing this love bunny whew, gets me hyped. I want that boy in uh, Sun and Moon already. It's only been 23 minutes. This recording felt like it has been going on for like a bit longer. But it's probably because... Um, my last recording was so long and I didn't have that long of a break between the two recordings. So it just felt like if I'm non-stop recording to me. Well, I, like, if, I, if ABR said most likely the Greeks guys are gonna lose. I don't know why um, Shake is always hating on Greeks in the chat, I don't know if it's the true. But there's the Calm Mind. And yeah, if it doesn't have clear smoke, this is bad. I think he has clear smoke because if he had sludge bomb, I think he would have clicked it earlier to try and fish for poison on the high dragon switch in on the turn where the Alendris uh, U-turn out on the Amoongus and he went for Giga Drain. He could have gone for sludge bomb instead, yeah. If he had it. Goes hard land operate in clear smoke? Spore, okay. I guess he just wanted to sleep for this. But I'm not sure if there was a play. Uh, I mean, Spore was definitely a fine play, especially if he has clear smoke. Um, oh yeah, he's banking on smokeless. Yeah, I can understand what he's doing, but I think he has clear smoke, yeah. Like, just the way it has been played, and, uh, you know. 
He talked about this. He sacks off the lob bunny and he's gonna go for game with the with the slow bro now. We're gonna be here for a while if this is clear smog. Yeah, he's like off that a little bit more because um, the, the 49 slack of hits 50 and leftovers do like 6%, right? But he can also get crit, but that was a lower roll, so the slope was getting healthier. Now we can afford to come at this specific turn. Yeah, exactly. Giga again has like no BP left, that's what I'm saying. I mean, still 10, but not that much. I'm not sure. If just clear smoke this is gonna come down uh, I think Slobo can win now, yeah. I mean at first I thought the Greek guy had like the advantage the entire time anyway, but because of the hazards? But the opponent kinda played himself back into it with some nice doubles here and there. I just in general I like how he played this. Ooh, it seems he doesn't have clear smog, so if this Kelly doesn't have toxic, we will see if he has toxic right now. Slobo wins if this doesn't have toxic. He doesn't have toxic, so yeah, even if he burns, there's anything that matters. Picks off with the skull, picks off the Kel with the skull. No burn, what's this bullshit? <laughs> yeah, this game is over and... I think he's 2-0. He, um, he won versus some Spanish guy the first time. I recorded that game, that game was fire. It was like Mega Medicham versus Art White team. And yeah, it seems he doesn't have... He has clear smoke. Yeah, but he still doesn't beat this. Um, is this noise game? I don't know, there's nothing going on. Only the black and white game. And I said I would focus on this here on this aura scheme yeah like some people and even myself like I sometimes hate auras but this game this game was pretty fun not gonna lie I mean if you're used to seeing Sun and Moon stall every second game in Sun and Moon at the moment I guess even auras becomes pretty like not like refreshing because it's different like at least this wasn't like full stall i mean that both teams had like this was like bulky offense i would say uh, going yeah leaning mm -hmm. I like a little more bulky offense maybe balance i always struggle to like get the difference between those two and yeah i would definitely call this one uh, this one is a bit more offensive because the tone was alive from not AV here. I mean, he's gonna run out of clear smoke. Oh, he's trying to BP, so we're gonna sit here for a while. Uh, we well, actually have five games going on at one point. I think I was recording at that point. Um, but not all five games, obviously, because I didn't focus on the old gens. You know, the highlight of the day is not. The highlight didn't happen yet. Mr. Jamvet should be playing soon. In like 90 minutes? I think he's gonna comment up here. Yep. Does this not have Psyshock or did he just not wanna. Maybe he just got it. Yeah, he already showed Psyshock. So if the Mongus gets a crit, the Mongus can still win this. But he doesn't have that many Giga Drains, only 5. And yeah, I think the reason why he scored the Keldy earlier is because he didn't want to waste the Psyshock PP. Because the crit, so he wasted his crit on the clear smoke. And he gets the back back to back crits. So Amongst is going to be tempted to kick it in here to get more health. To be out of range from a, a Psyshock eventually. Potentially, I mean. 
damage that could that could have killed. It's just lack of figure. He's not risking anything here. Yeah. Mm. I mean, HP fire off quick U turn stealth rock. Did he never get up rocks the entire game? It's so weird. All he showed was hidden power fire and he killed the pharaoh if I recall correctly. Uh, my man's already playing running battles since I had time. He's setting up for crit. There was the crit, but he didn't go for Gigaji. <laughs> but he just slack off spams, so, so if he goes for Gigaji, he can like be out of range from the next one. Maybe a double crit would. Maybe double crit would kill even if he's slack soft. Yeah, my net, um, some of you guys might know, my net likes to die at night. Um, I really hope it doesn't die before the jam at game. But usually it dies at like 3 a.m. and the jam at game should be 2 a.m. so I should be good to go. Flobro gets a burn. And yeah, um, this is over. Because I don't think he has Giga Drain. It was the other last two. Because I was looking at the chat for like a while so I didn't pay attention if he used the last two. So yeah, I can... <laughs> like he only has 5 slack off so he wants to be careful with them. Oh. So I'll probably go for... The thing is... Do you comment here or do you slack off here? You slacked off, okay. So this Landers is in the range to dive from rocks, I assume. It's just gonna off quick spam exactly. I don't know why he thrashed over scrolling there. I mean, yeah, maybe he breaked the U turn, but like, the, the, the land dies to rocks, he wasn't U turning there. No hazard control left. But it's fine. So he's gonna slack off here. Not risking Giga Drain high roller crit, uh, crit, I mean. And yeah, now I think you can call mind. Um, but yeah, if he gets double crit, it would still be over, I guess. No, it wouldn't be over, because if he gets crit once, he can switch out into Linus to get Regenerator, and then he just doesn't ha has to avoid another crit from the last Giga Drain, and he's good to go. Should be the win for the, the Greek guy. Um, Laz, Laz? I really don't know how to call them. So it's just side shock. Hey, I guess he can't switch up the Among Us to get region anymore. So yeah, GG. Um, I really don't know which country the opponent is from. from my bad. Oh, White Queen versus Pearl started. So thank you guys for watching this Auras game, and we will be back with White Queen. Never mind. Is that for World Cup? Um, I'm gonna find out. I think it's for World Cup, but peace out, friends.